Hi, welcome to Mobile Computing. Today we're going to take a look through Android Studio, just build a quick app, see what it's like. So we're going to start a new Android project here. It gives us uh, a whole menu of possibilities. We'll get to several of these during the course. We'll do a master detail flow, we'll do maps, we'll do a login activity. Um, but for now, a basic activity is good. I don't, I don't like this floating action button, but we'll take care of that in a bit. Uh, but, you know, for all of these, I encourage you to check them out at home. Just build them, run them, and see what they do. So we'll call this something that we will remember to delete. So delete me, package name. I mean, this is reasonable. You should probably put your EID in here. Actually, you should definitely put your EID in there. Uh, and, you know, put it somewhere. You're going to be able to find it. We will be using Kotlin as the programming language throughout the course, so please use that. Our minimum API level is 27, which is um, pretty high, but we're just gonna do modern Android in this class. It actually makes things uh, quite a bit easier, although in, in Kotlin, backwards compatibility is pretty straightforward too. And then uh, you can check this, use Android X artifacts. Android X is a really nice library uh, that's relatively new, and it has a lot of uh, best practices from Android. So we hit finish, and great, we've got our um, main window here, where we will be spending lots of, of good times this semester. And you have different panes here. Uh, you have the um, um, project viewer so you have some files like main activity which is the m sort of your main file down here you have the build area where gradle is the build system gradle and it tells you uh, that it just finished building and the build system actually interacts with your editor so that sometimes when your editor is confused it's because the build system is running up here we have a bunch of import statements and import statements are uh, important to know about. And if you, um, you know, delete one of them, Android OS bundle, then what happens is the uh, editor says, gosh, I don't know what this bundle is. And if you just sort of hang out here, it says, hey, is that an Android OS bundle? If so, hit Alt Enter, which we do. And then it adds that import statement. Of course, you can add that import statement by hand. That's just a nice feature of the editor. Down here, content main, this is the XML view of the layout. This is the design view of the layout, design this tab, uh, where this is sort of the preview and this is the blueprint. I don't use the design view very much. I'm basically gonna be using the text view and we'll be doing constraint layouts and linear layouts. So uh, this hello world is, is fine. The important thing to notice here um, you know, we can, uh, you know, get in here and edit things. And if you start typing, there's very good completion. So text size and text size is in, um, SP and other sizes are in DP for device independent pixels and, uh, scale pixels or something. Um, and you can see that our text view has four constraints. It's constrained to the top, the bottom, the, the start, and the end, and that means it's in the middle. So let's, uh, you know, oh, this is right and left. It actually should be start and end, but whatever. Start and end um, adjust for languages that are read left to right. So we'll take out one one constraint there. And you can see that uh, we've moved over to the side. And let's uh, put a button in here. Uh, and we're going to need a height, which we'll say is wrap content. And we'll need a width, which is also wrap content. Uh, match parent. Oh, layout. Um, match parent. 
uh, makes it as big as, as its parent. Uh, we can put some text in our button. Click me, you fool. And I don't know, that's enough. And then if you, let's see, if you, yeah, if you hit slash, it will actually end the button for you. And this is, you know, XML. Um, I, I don't want to get too far into this. Um, there's this sort of weird uh, idiom where there's an app bar layout and a toolbar, and then this thing includes content main. This is activity main. But I come in here and I grab this floating action button and I delete it because I don't like it. Nobody uses it. And it's unfortunate that it's the uh, default. This is now the code view. So we were looking at the, the layout. Here's the code view, which here is initializing your floating action button. We're going to get rid of that. And up here we have our import statements. And um, you can optimize your import statements and it will get rid of ones that it's not using. But for now, we want uh, this button. Oh yeah, the problem is we often want to talk about the UI elements in our code. And so in order to talk about them there, we need to add IDs. There are different ways you can hook up your uh, layout UI elements, but this is the way we're going to use in this uh, class. And I, I think it's the by, by and large, the, the best way to do it. Uh, so let's call this button. And this text view, we have an ID we don't. So let's add an ID here. Android ID. Uh, come on. At, there we go. Let's call it text view. Uh, Kotlin, oops, Kotlin likes this camel case. So for variables, it's lowercase and for class names, it's uppercase. Okay. Now here's one of the nice features of Kotlin and Android is, uh, we can just talk about our button. So button and the ID is asking, Hey, is that from content main.xml? It absolutely is, sir. Thank you. So we're going to uh, grab that button, and this is actually a, not such a great uh, completion list because we are going to call set on click listener. Oh. What? What are you asking me? Uh. And that should resolve. Let's uh, let's go up here and build. See if that helps. Um, in the meantime, we'll also grab our okay button is unresolved. ID. Okay, so it's not constrained, but that is, uh, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's constrain. Uh, the top to top of our parent. Okay. That should be okay. Activity main, and what do we have? Text view. So we can say I'm the boss here. So here, this says "Hello world for real." And then as soon as this runs, we're going to change the text. Yeah, now it, now it knows. See, now it knows where the button was. It was just kind of confused before. This often sort of happens. Um, you have to build it in order for the uh, IDE to understand what it's doing. Okay. Um, once the button is clicked, uh, this is a curly brace, and this is now a lambda, uh, an anonymous code block, which are all over the place in Kotlin. They're awesome, and we can do things in here like 
set the text to be uh, I haven't clicked totally. Okay, now let's see uh, this thing run and let's see our phone um, and what happens there. Okay, so uh, we hit run. This is the name of the project. There's a, a button here. Right now it says I'm the boss because that was set in the code. Um, if we click, uh, I've been clicked totally. And that's all it does. This is a menu. It's also sort of not hooked up. So that's about it. It doesn't do anything particularly interesting, but it's the basis of what we're going to be doing a lot of this semester. It's really going to be fun and we'll get to very we're going to build up from these extremely simple apps to much more interesting and complicated apps, and we'll get there together. Thanks very much. Bye.